Hi, I never thought that forwarding messages which comes in social media is that easy or that difficult for the, for that matter. I don't know why we keep receiving many messages in social media and we do not give it a thought and just spread it. Sometimes we do it just for the heck of it and sometimes we do it with a lot of thoughtfulness. I never thought this way but I happened to see something which I wanted you all to notice. A man and his dog were walking along a road. The man was enjoying the scenery. When it suddenly occurred to him that he was dead, he remembered dying and that the dog walking beside him had been dead for years. He wondered where the road was leading then. After a while, they came to a high white stone wall along one side of the road. It looked like fine marble. At the top of a long hill, it was broken by a tall arch that glowed in the sunlight. When he was standing before it, he saw a magnificent gate in the arch that looked like mother of pearl. And the street that led to the gate looked like pure gold. He and the dog walk towards the gate. And as he got closer, he saw a man at a desk at one side. When he was close enough, he called out, Excuse me, where are we? This is heaven, sir, the man answered. Wow, would you happen to have some water? The man asked. Of course, sir. Come right in and we'll have some ice water brought right up. The man gestured and the gate began to open. Can my friend, gesturing toward his dog, come in too? The traveler asked. I'm sorry sir, but we don't accept pets. The man thought a moment and then turned back towards the road. And road leading through the farm gate that looked as if had never been closed. And continued the way he had been going with his dog. After another long walk and at the top of another long hill, he came to a dirt road leading through a farm gate that looked as if it had never been closed. There was no fence. As he approached the gate, he saw a man inside leaning against a tree and reading a book. Excuse me, he called to the man. Do you have any water? Yeah, sure. There's a pump over there. Come on, in. How about my friend here? Oh, there should be a ball by the pump, said the man. They went through the gate and sure enough, there was an old fashioned hand pump with a ball beside it. The traveler filled the water ball and took a long drink himself. Then he gave some to the dog. When they were full, he and the dog walked back towards the man who was, who was standing by the tree, leaned, reading the book. What do you call this place? The traveler asked. This is heaven, he answered. Well, that's confusing, the traveler said. The man down the road said that this was heaven too. Oh, you mean the place with the gold street and pearly gate? No, that's hell. Doesn't it make you mad for them to use your name like that? No, we're just happy that they screen out the folks who'd leave their best friends behind. So, now you see, sometimes we wonder why friends keep forwarding stuff to us without writing a word. Just a forward, click, forward, click, forward, many groups, single friend, double friends, many of friends. It's because maybe this story explains it all about. When you are very busy but still want to keep in touch, guess what you do? You forward emails or texts. When you have nothing to say but still want to keep contact, forward the jokes. Let them smile. Let them be reminded that there is someone who actually cares for your smile. When you have something to say but don't know what and don't know how, just forward. 
forward stuff is a great thing to happen to mankind at this point of time when there is a pandemic when nobody is trying to keep in touch physically nobody is visiting anyone everyone is all cooped up with their own dreams desires aspirations and that mental toughness of doing what they can possibly do in this tough time forward has a role to play if you believe that this has appealed you in some or the other sense let's forward and make many a friends forwarding saying hey just keep in touch thank you